Hello everyone out there, my name is KT Kirana, or KTK as you can put it, and this is Nino Kuni. After almost a year, or actually it's been just a little bit longer than a year, I am finally going to go about continuing this game. I have actually not played it since the last time that I've uploaded a video, so I am extremely rusty. Yes, that is what I will try and say. <laughs> um, I don't remember what all I may or may not have done since the last time that I played the game, so this will be as much of a surprise as it is for you as it will be for me. <laughs> um, I do know the destination for our next location is somewhere over here on this side, so I am going to just head right on over there, and in the meantime I will go ahead and fill in the blanks. So, yes, it has been almost a f uh, no, I need to stop saying that. It has been a full year since the last time I played this game. I really d can't explain why it's taken me so long to get back into playing. I mean, I've had plenty of opportunities to continue recording. It's just like, I've found other things to do. I have no idea. Um, so, I do apologize about the long wait that it may have that it's taken for me to get back into playing this to both myself and to you, anyone who's actually watching this. I am actually interested to see how it goes on from here, exactly how much further I need to actually be done with the game. I think I'm already halfway through, it's just like, I really have no way of knowing. I know that right there is her destination. I mean, it's kind of hard to miss, but... I mean, between here and there, who knows what may happen. I'm going to at least make sure that I don't end up getting any stupid, you know, audio problems. I've got two save backups this time, so... I've got the original save, and then I've got um, a save that I'll end up making as soon as I end up... Well, I'll continue on from here. I'll end up having the original save that I'll be playing off of, and I'll also have the save that's going to end up being... I back up in case I need to go back to the Because I know one time I've actually missed the information from one bit. I think it was uh, back in Castaway Cove. I think that's what it's called. I guess that it's been so long since I played this. All the names and definitions are just a blur to me now. But for the most part, that was the only thing that I've actually known of some slip ups of video quality where it's actually gone. And that was actually due to me because I stopped it before I entered it because I didn't actually expect I was going to end up getting a, um, you know, any notification of a scene or anything. And then it was like, oh, we're going to go ahead and put these people into swimsuits for no reason whatsoever. And so, yeah, there was that. Um, it looks like we're going to end up just hitting every single enemy out on this field. So it gives me additional time. As I'm recording this, it is January 22nd. Uh, 2016. So it is a full year since the last time that I've done anything. And, well... I would say that, but it's not been the last, it's not been that long since I've done anything, it's just the last time that I've uh, recorded and uploaded it. That's the main part that matters. Um, to be honest, it's just like, I've had so much going on between the school semester of 2015 and how it's just now starting. Summer, Christmas break, spring break. <sighs> <laughs> uh, but I guess that's a good thing. Uh, I'm not. Ooh, okay. uh, yeah, there we go. Haha. <laughs> Seven, eight. Good time. You're going to sleep. You weird little thing. We are in pursuit of the gem. Some magical. Oh gosh. Uh, McBumble sounds good enough to me. 
Anyway, we are heading here to Skull Mountain to, to go meet the pirates. Because it's... Uh, I think the actual delay on my microphone no is a second off of what I'm expecting, so... There is that too. I'm not taking that into account. Ah, shit! <laughs> Everyone's just beating me up! Don't they know to take pity on me? I haven't played this in forever! I mean, it's not like I have any retention about this game other than that. It's still an okay game. And the fact- Oh my god. Since the last time I played this, they have actually mentioned that they are going to make Mew no Kuni 2 for the PlayStation 4. Um, it, uh, there's no real details on time or anything, other than the fact that it still takes, you know, someone from the real world and throws them into this fantasy world. And we don't see um, King Tom in rule of Ding Dong Dell anymore. We actually see like some Neko fur boy wannabe. Alright, I'm gonna go quiet while we enter in case there's a cutscene. And. Oh, no, no cutscene. Okay. <laughs> um, we see a Catboy Tom, or a Catboy instead of Tom, and then we also end up. It's just, it's weird. It was all just like story scenes for the most part, so. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but. Uh. Wow! Look, everyone! It's enormous in here! And, my goodness! What is it, one? Ooh. Neato! It's a huge ship! A ship? Well, if it is, it's a pretty flippin' weird one. I mean, it's made out of metal, for a start. And it hasn't even got a sail. No, it hasn't. So how does it move? It uses its engines, of course. Hang on, you lot don't know what it is, do you? It's a flying ship. They call them airships. <laughs> this is an airship? Then does that mean... Yep, I reckon it does. We found the King of the Sky Pirates hideout. Brilliant! So Kublai must be here somewhere, aboard. No. <laughs> Hang on a second. If this is a Sky Pirates hideout, where is all the flippin' Sky Pirates? We'd best be careful, you lot. Gee, I wonder how it flies. Do you think he'll let us ride it? Hello, oh, love. This is no time to be daydreaming about flying ships. Oh, uh, sorry. You're right. We need to find the map of the stones, huh? <laughs> Blimey, you're such a kid. <laughs> so sorry, it won't happen again. <laughs> Only kidding. I know uh, just how you feel. But let's concentrate on the stones for now, shall we? Sure, Swain. Let's sneak aboard and see what we can find. Well, alright. Uh, I've already forgotten what exactly I was talking about, so... Bollocks for that. These chests look like they should be openable. Oh well. Alright. I'll be right back. And we're back. Time to go board the ship. Actually, what's over here? And it's, there's obviously a, uh, some reason for this later, but for now, nothing. <laughs> so let's go sneak up on our ship. That seems to be a trap. Wow, it's so big. It's hard to believe something so huge can actually fly. Oh, you lot. Don't you think we're getting a bit too close a bit too easily? This is what usually happens before. Havast! Who goes there? Yep. A flipping ambush. Oh, oh no! So you filthy thieves are here to plunder our plunder? I take a look in the mirror before calling someone a filthy thief, you my friend. Don't make them angry, Swain. They're bloodthirsty sky pirates. If you knew that, girl, 
Why would you risk your pretty neck trying to sneak aboard? You're either mighty brave or mighty stupid. Nickers. We're flipping trapped. Trapped, I tell you. Ha! We have company, I see. Oh, I can't get it! Well, that's a weird little bit. That's Kublai! That's him, is it? Crikey. Look at the face on him. That's gruesome. We, we came here to speak to you. That's right. We have a favor to ask, ca Captain Kublai, sir. <laughs> you stroll uninvited into my mountain stronghold, hoping to be granted a favor? What are you? Will be heroes come to take back your plundered treasures? <laughs> hmm. By the skies. Boy, I'll hear you out. Come aboard. Hmm. That's quite a tale, lad. Aye, tis true that I plundered that map. And I'd do it again. That lily-livered fop of a prince had it coming to him. Hey, don't talk about Marcuson like th Not now, Esther. We need those magic stones. Y yes we do. We need them to help us defeat Shadar. <laughs> By the skies! Shadar? You mean to cross swords with the Dark Jinn? That we do. We've got to stop him before he breaks the hearts of everyone in our world, ain't it? Yeah, yours included. <laughs> you come aboard my ship and dare to compare me to the sniveling wretches who fall prey to Shadar? Let him try and break me. I'll show the scurry dog what it means to face a true adversary. Well, I'll say this for him. He's not lacking for confidence. Should I ain't to be sniffed at. This none knows better than I, fairy. So if you're looking to take on Shadar, you'll be possessed of the skills to do so, I take it. Aye, of course you are. So this will be child's play for heroes such as yourselves. Uh, what will? <laughs> Don't fret, lad. It's just a little test of your swashbuckling skills. All in a day's work for a battle-hardened warrior such as yourself. <laughs> huh? Well, what's that sound? Oh boy, it's an ugly looking dragon. So, I mean, we just, we were thrown right into this fight, weren't we? <laughs> oh boy, uh, blah 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 blah. Oh, oh, no. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Actually, hold up. How do I defend? I was like, what is he doing? That probably wouldn't be tough for you. Whoa! Crikey! I've never seen a dragon this big before, man. The flippin' thing looks proper, visitors. I only hope it's poison, Ollie boy. Dragons hate the stuff, see? Wait till it's got us down, then have Swain shoot the blighter full of the rotten muck, ain't it? Alright, so I need to switch to Granted, I wasn't expecting. Oh, whoa! Ah! That is so not fair. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I was like, seriously? All right. Ollie. Or er, oh, let's go with Timon. Oh, damn. 174? That's a lot. 
Oh. It's already wore off. Get him! No! Didn't get it. Ah! Get away from me! Do I, is that the only one I got? Ha ha ha! Oh, it's back in my Okay, there we go. Banana man! Ooh. That's not good. Come on! Hit him! Go! Go, go! Move! Wait, why are you coming after me? Nuh-uh, don't be doing that. Oh. Nerve. Oh. Sweet. Uh, shot. Half shot. Dragon scales. Is that any good before? Yes. And I interrupted him! <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, let's go with you. Actually? Yeah. What is the ice being cast on my creatures about all about? Oh! No, no, no! Oh. Oh, I, th I thought I was gonna get a win. Ah. I almost got him! It's pretty good. It's it's a nice thing that it's not even bothering going after me. <laughs> oh! Dragon tail. You're almost dead! Kill it! Oh. Twenty damage, really? Oh, sad. <laughs> But he's dead, and I actually didn't die myself. That's awesome, possum. All those levels up. Woohoo! Mito, Esther, Gogo, Maitera, Fenil, Timon, Corona, Will. Don't ask me why I still have some of these creatures though. Well now, there's not many faced the old girl's breath and come away unsinged, lad. You're a plucky one, and no mistake. What? Why would you set her on us if you knew she was that dangerous? Yeah, mon, what are you doing calling in a massive great big dragon all of a sudden like that? I nearly flip and wet myself. Silence, dogs. I'll ask the questions here. The wand. Where did you get it? What does it matter to you? We won't let you have it, no matter what you do to us. It matters to me, girl, because the accursed thing's not supposed to exist. The queen must hear of this. What queen? Never you mind. Now follow me. The map's aft in my cabin. Huh? Hmm. All right, grumpy guts. They're still the good guys, right? I only ask because the king of the sky pirates appears to like us. Eh? You're kidding, ain't you? We did it, Oliver. Let's go and look at the map. What are you worms waiting for? Move your scurvy carcasses. Oh. In the middle of the sea? This is what you came out for. The map of the stones. This here X marks where the stones must be hidden. A remote island? Makes sense, I suppose. Well, what are we waiting for? We've got a ship. Let's sail there and find them. Pike down, girl. Do you think the boats of those seafaring simpletons would reach where even the mighty Iron Wyvern could not go? Eh? What the flip are you on about? It's a sight more complicated than that. The Wyvern here is too large to land on Solitary Isle, and the seas around that rotten little rock are riddled with reefs. Jeepers. 
So we can't get to the stones? Don't start sniveling just yet, lad. There's a way there, all right. On the back of Tengri, winged dragon and master of the skies. None flies faster or higher than the pride of my pack of wild worms. Ew. Worms. Crikey, that is impressive sounding. Come on, then. Where is this Tengri? Well, now, fairy, there's the rub. Tengri has been struck down with the dreaded Lurgy and flies no longer. Lurgy? You mean he's sick? Ah, nothing's ever easy, is it? Don't speak too soon. We have the mighty wizard Oliver on our side, after all. Hmm? You mean to heal him? Well, we can't promise anything, but it's worth a try, I reckon. Ollie boy here's got a spell or two up his sleeve that might get your dragon friend back on the wing. Yes, you must have something that will work, Oliver. Let's go and meet this dragon, shall we? Sure. Where can we find Tengri, Captain Kublai? <laughs> Not that the great lump will be cowering in a corner of the cave somewhere feeling sorry for himself. See what you can do. Thanks. Come on, everyone. We have a dragon to save. I hope we can help him. You lot love nothing more than the charity case, do you? <laughs> well, at least Swain's starting to basically enjoy our company a little bit more. Oh, hold up. Captain Kubla? I doubt there's much you can do for Tengri, boy. We've already tried every herb and potion known to man. Well, if it's a dragon, that's your problem. Duh. Ooh, is that it? Hello. Arr. We skyfarers love nothing more than throwing a few ingredients together to make something. Be it a meal or a mechanical marvel. Really? I thought you spent all your time plundering and pillaging. Aye. That we do. But we wouldn't be able to sell the skies if we had to rely on others for the day-to-day -day necessities, now would we? It's as Captain Kublai always says. Only the craftiest among us will live to spend our plunder below. Gee, sounds like a hard life. It is, lad, it is. It's not just crafty we have to be, it's creative too. I'm forever jotting down new formulae, you know. Sounds a bit too much like hard work to me, this guy pirating like. It sure does. You're even tougher than I thought. Say, would you mind if we took a look at your formulae? <laughs> mind? Of course not, lad. Nothing gives me more pleasure than a Shah recipe or two. May they serve you well. Oh, it would be nice to know what the recipe was, though. Oh well. All right. Old Tengri. Ooh, you're actually a whole lot cuter than the other one. It's like you're a cute form. Tengri's a gentle beast, but when those wings start flapping, he out he fair outstrips even the old wyvern. Oh, you're not gonna say anything. What about you? Mm hmm. Crikey. This dragon looks like you'd lose a fight with a fly, mon. Not that one. Not like that one we just fought. Proper feisty he was. Well, he is sick, Mr. Trippy. What's up with you then, Tenny boy? Wing rot, is it? Touch upon ache? Ah! Come on, Mon, we can't help you just stand there groaning like that. Uh, I guess he's trying to say something to us in, you know, dragon. You sure, Ollie boy? Well, if you say so, let's have a listen then. Oh, you mean... Flippin' heck, Mon. Look lively, will you? How many animals have you spoken to now? And you still don't know what to do? Cast that spell, ain't it? I did know. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Alright, so... Where's that? There it is. And I don't have the MP for it. <laughs> That's... Ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, I need to heal. At least I don't need to save. At least I shouldn't. Not yet. <laughs> Whoop. 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 Alright. Now that we're here, let's try this again. Hello, Tengri. We wanted to talk to with you, if that's okay. Yeah, we heard you a bit poorly, ain't it? Tell us what's up, Mon. Maybe we can help, like. Mm. Look, he's scared, aren't you, Tengri? P 
poor thing. There, there. We won't hurt you. Don't be frightened. You want to fly again, don't you, Tinkery? Why don't you tell us what's wrong? All right. Go on. I, I feel strange. There's a me who isn't me. Another me. And he's six, so, so I c can't fly. Another Tinkery? Do you think he means? Of course, he's got a soulmate over in Ollie Boy's world, ain't it? You mean back in Motorville? Like Myrtle and I. But Tingree's a dragon. That happens too, eh, Ollie Boy? We've seen people with animals for soulmates before, ain't it? You mean like Timmy and King Tom? Sure we have. Exactly. And I reckon Tingree's super sensitive animal mind means he can tell what's going on with his soulmate over by there. What are you lot talking about? understand a word you're saying. <sighs> I really can't be bothered to explain it to you now. I'll tell you afterwards, alright? Tengri, the other you is sick in his heart. Do you understand? In his heart? Yes, but don't worry. We're going to make him better. So you'll be able to fly again soon. Really? <laughs> really? And when you can't fly again, do you think you might let us ride on your back? Um, yes. Alright. I'll let you. Thank you so much, Tengri. We'll help you, I promise. Gee, Esther, that was amazing. It was, eh? I got so used to the girl, I clean forgot she had such a way with animals. I suppose she is a familiar keeper, after all. <laughs> Tengri's not a familiar, silly. No, and he's not much of a dragon, either, the massive wimp. It'd be a wimp, too, if your soulmate was sick. I have you forgotten what it's like to be attacked by Shadar? No, and I won't forget in a hurry, either. Hang about. How come she never stepped in like that when we had to fight that flippin' red dragon? I'm sure we can do something to help Tengri. Come on, let's go tell Captain Kublai. I'll leave it for now. Don't want to stir up trouble. Huh. Uh-oh. He's suspicious. Dirt, dirt, dirt. All right, old Captain Captain. Well, did you discover what has made a mouse of my once mighty dragon? Well, we've got an idea, yeah? <laughs> then I suggest you find the cure, fairy. I shall look forward to seeing it. Oh, and so you don't get yourselves killed in the meantime. Have this. Jumbo Sundrop. Gee, is this one of those trees that make familiar some meta... Meta for uh, change? That it is, boy. I couldn't help but notice you using familiars when you were fighting. I would discover a bunch of scrags they were. This little wonder old red almost cut you. Now, if but one of your familiars had eaten that drop I just gave you and reached the final stage of its development, you'd have beaten her easily. Hang on, Mon. I thought we did beat her easily. I mean, I hardly broke a sweat. <laughs> Mr. Drippy? Thank you, Captain Kublai. I haven't finished, boy. Every creature turns into one of two different types at the final stage of its development. It's up to you to choose the one you want. Got all that? Good. If you've got any sense, you use as many of these drops as you can find. If you can't find any, make your own. Ooh. Did he end up giving me a formula for every single one of them, or just the sun drop? Gee, another formula. Thanks. Right then, Ollie boy. Drops of familiars are all very interesting, but sorting old Tengri out is our top, prior our top priority, ain't it? Yeah, you're right. We need to head over to Motorville and find Tengri's soulmate. Alright, so I'm going to go save, but when next we get around to it, we will end up heading into Motorville to go rescue Tengri's soulmate. So, until then, this has been KTK playing Nino Kearney.